Hey Ross, sauce it up. I just blew my only shot. I just blew my only shot. Blood. I'm a fair shot, baby. baby. I wonder what you think of me lately. Cause you been running through my mind daily. It hurt that you curb me, it hurt that you play me. Bitch. Here's Lyles. Outside Herder. Sabonis in the post. Defended by Pajemski. And Sabonis the bucket on the assist by Herder. Herder's got three assists tonight. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Sacramento. Well, their D has been a major story tonight. I mean, those steals and putting pressure on the ball, clogging the passing lanes, impressive. Man, scoring off of turnovers is so helpful. I mean, you get easy opportunities at the rim. It devastates the opponent. They've done a great job tonight at converting on those chances. Andrew Wiggins checked in for Anderson. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Steve Kerr had to say to the team. He was harping on the number of offensive rebounds that they've given up. He told them they have to recommit to the defensive glass. He said, quote, we're not walking away with the W if we don't box out. Simple message, guys, but an important one. Great work, Allie. Thanks. And we'll have a timeout call by Mike Brown. He wants to make sure everyone is aligned, given the situation right now. A peek at some of the players competing for a spot in the dunk contest. All of them true dunk artists who can do some spectacular things in the air. And I can't wait to see what these guys have dreamed up this year. The level of athleticism and creativity that goes into this contest is what makes it so incredible to watch. You look at Kaminga, and I could see him moving even higher up in the ranks. He's certainly a talented guy up in the air. He is for sure, but this list is just packed with real aerial artists. This dunk contest is really going to be something special. And there you have it. This year's dunk contest field looks incredible. We'll keep you up to date in the voting. That is always a highlight of All-Star Weekend. Watching guys just fly through the air. And I enjoy watching all of the guys on that list slam it home. Here's Ellis. Melton covers. Pass to Herder. Lyles a screen. Down to five on the shot clock. Herder gets the bucket. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Warriors trail by five. Outside Pajemski. Outside Curry. Fires from deep. Pass to Melton. Now Pajimski. Rebounded by Lyles. Lyles has got his eighth rebound here tonight. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. Great open look there. And now an eight-point Kings lead. I don't know. I'm getting the feeling as this game moves on, he's getting stronger. Golden State has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. It's Pajemski on the wing. Jackson Davis is screen to halt the run. The shot by Pajemski, no good. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Herder passes to Ellis. Sabonis outside. Now here's Monk. Sabonis with a screen on Curry. To the paint. It's stolen. Wiggins looking around. Tries a 10-footer. Nice jump shot. Clean handles from Wiggins. Puts his man on skates. Sacramento leading by six. Ellis passes to Monk. Pass to Sabonis. 
Well, Grant, in the spring of 2024, a remarkable streak ended. Damanis Sabonis had recorded 61 consecutive double-doubles. Yeah, it was the longest streak since the merger back in 1976. Now, Sabonis has led the NBA in rebounding multiple years. Plus, he has averaged eight assists in a season. So that is big-time production. That free throw misses. Sabonis is a guy you have to watch closely in terms of how relentless he is. Trying to get in there, mix it up, play physical. He just never stops fighting. And he's good on the second. One thing this Golden State team does very well is control the offensive glass, Brent. Well, there's been a lot of talk analytically, B.A., about how advantageous it is to come in and swoop through to grab offensive rebounds. Golden State has bought into that philosophy. They also have guys who take a lot of long shots, so that's long rebounds with a better chance of gaining an extra possession. So some smart analytical play here from Golden State in the past couple seasons. Monk finds Fox. Sabonis so outside. Back to Fox. Late clock here. The Kings need to get one up. And it's DeRozan missing. Warriors trail by seven. Outside Kaminga. Pass to Heel. From the arc. Sinks it from distance. Heald's got 20 points. Well, after hitting a three earlier in the game, he now has three threes this half, guys. And there's the lob. Oh, what a perfect pass to set that up. Hey, the feed might have been pretty, but the finish, that was angry. And Curry's got the ball here for the Warriors. And Steve Kerr calls timeout here. He wants their game plan to be crystal clear at this point. Kings on D. They've given up just eight points in the fourth. So weird. Sometimes when you get that much time, it can throw you off just as much as having no time. Murray, a screen on Curry. Fox for three. Fox splashing it home from deep. Well, the growth of De'Aaron Fox's game from long distance is really instrumental in him turning into a star. Here's Curry. That shot, no good. Good D by Murray. Pass to Fox. Here's the three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Now here's Curry. There's a minute 34 left in the fourth quarter here. Oh, Curry making it look effortless. This is why Steph Curry is virtually unguardable. And he's sinking those kind of shots. It just devastates you defensively. Fox, that's good. Fox has got five points now this quarter. That's the guy they're going to keep going to as they should. The lead's only going up if they keep feeding him. Pass to Kaminga. Back to Curry. The ball's knocked loose. Wow! Curry takes the hit and finishes inside. You know he's going to have the ball. And then you feel he's going to come through. He did it there. Curry against Fox. DeRozan outside. Murray from outside. He can't get that one to fall. And here are the Warriors now. Six-point game. Here's Curry. Tries again. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Curry does a great job of selling that up fake, and he forces the D to react. 
and they make the mistake. Shooting two. First free throw is good, and that brings him within five. So Curry nails both of them. He showed a lot of composure that trip to the line. Now it's almost a one possession game. 40 seconds left in the fourth. And they go to the intentional foul. There's 39 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. The open shot, DeRozan. The shot is good on the assist by Sabonis. And the Kings lead by six. And right here, they can't waste any time. Well, it's probably a little bit too late here, but you really need to score a bucket here to stay alive. Curry finds Green. Oh, Sabonis with the steal. By himself. And Sabonis slams it in. What a play. Sabonis seizes the opportunity and just did it all himself. Golden State calls timeout. They're down by eight. Guys, what do you think? Too little, too late. Making a change won't save them now. Well, I'm going to use the cliche here. You can't take your timeouts with you, so they're going to use it. Sixteen seconds left in the fourth. Curry's shot is off. And so it's Sacramento with the W. They have to feel good about this performance. It's one they can be proud of. Very true. I mean, when you're out on the road, the wins can feel a little sweeter. This one has to feel extra special. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. Alongside Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson.